It's still June 2020, 2021. Newark, New Jersey, City Hall. Who do you think this is? None other than that criminal drug addict, George Floyd. Yes, a bronze statue in front of City Hall of a criminal, a drug addict. The day he died, he had all sorts of drugs in him, including fentanyl, methamphetamine, uh, oh, other stuff. Yeah, this is it. Here, we take down statues. We destroy statues. We tear them down of the founding fathers, the the Confederate statues. Um, and all of that, by the way, was sanctioned by the state because we didn't see people getting arrested. We didn't see the police there trying to stop all of that statue destruction. But no, we're now going to have bronze statues of criminals and drug addicts. Yay, Mommy, I want to be like George Floyd. I want to be a criminal and a drug addict. So people will, you know, make a bronze statue of me and they'll honor and respect me because that's what statues are about, right? They, they, it's a, a symbolism of, you know, honor, respect, and they're glorified. A criminal and a drug addict. What the hell is wrong with us? Um, hopefully we'll see the destruction of this because this needs to be destroyed. This guy, this guy gets honored, a bronze statue, funerals like he was some god, like he was just some president or king or, no, he was a criminal and he was a drug addict. Did he deserve to die that way? If that was even the case, and I'm not even gonna go there, but no, of course not, but Maybe if he wasn't a criminal and a drug addict and high right then, maybe if he wasn't trying to pass a bad check or maybe that wouldn't have happened. Hmm. Just a thought. George. George Floyd. Yes. Um, you do know that he had multiple stays in jail, a five-year jail term for impersonating a government worker and he knocks on this lady's door he's in, he's wearing this blue uniform to pass as a government employee to gain the lady's trust and well he then doesn't get that trust she tries to shut the door george who's six 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 feet tall six inches he's big he shoves his way into the home has a gun oh right she's pregnant has a gun to her stomach then a ford truck pulls up five other guys come piling out of the truck rush into the home george then you know tells another armed um guy in the house all right you watch her while we're just going to, you know, look around the house to see what we can steal. She starts yelling for help. And what does that guy do? Smashes her upside the head with the gun. Can you imagine? Can you imagine being that woman and seeing all of this George Floyd? You know, the honoring of the guy that traumatized you while you're pregnant holding a gun to your stomach. We are a sick and twisted society. They took jewelry, the lady's cell phone, they couldn't find any cash. They ran back into the truck, the neighbor took down the license plate, called 911. Yeah. Okay, how about that day he died, the infamous George Floyd day? What did he have in his system? 
He had fentanyl, methamphetamine, traces of cannabinoids, is that cannabis, uh, and morphine at the time of his death. Wow, what a combination. Nobody deserves to have a knee, you know, on their neck and then, you know, you die. Uh, By the way, do you know that race was not a factor in that trial? (laughs) Christ. Okay, this is our life now, ma'am. This is our life. We're going to honor criminals and drug addicts. This took place in Denver yesterday, the 19th. There was a conservative summit, which I guess is annual or semi-annual. It's a far-right gathering. Well, who knows if it's far-right because this is actually written by the communists, the Denver communists, Antifa, oh, BLM, right, yeah, Facebook, here, Western BLM Antifa Summit. Funny, because it's a myth, Antifa. It doesn't exist, right? Okay. But they sure do have their posters and their Facebook, you know, come to wherever. The Western BLM Antifa Summit on the 19th at 1 p.m. Go to the Hyatt Regency, Denver, at at the Colorado Convention Center. Why? Because the semi-annual conservative, Western Conservative Summit was taking place. That's right. Conservatives, Republicans. You are being targeted. The communists, and there is even here, let's see, uh, Denver communists get organized and fight the fascists. The communists fight the fascists. Fight the right, build the left. Nazi scum off our streets. Fabulous. My God. Well, once again, they're at it. Now they write, uh, a semi-annual far-right gathering and blight on Denver. Quote, every rally and conference presents an opportunity for fascists to network and coordinate, and we know from history what happens when they achieve such coordination. We must fight fascism now, and or we are doomed to fight a stronger version of it in the future. What doesn't exist is the fascism from the conservatives, but, oh, what do we hear from mainstream media? It's a myth. They don't exist, Antifa. And in fact, those Democrats in Congress said the same thing. They don't exist. They don't exist. Okay. Well, let's, let's just click on this tweet Okay, and we'll pretend that we're seeing this. I don't even know what they're saying. Um, But yeah, there was fights broke out. Apparently we have here a little standoff before the police headed inside the hotel. The anarchists, well, forget it. Uh, The definition of anarchist is not how most people use it, but All right, Um, 
anarchist communist crew headed around the block and came back and banged on the hotel lobby windows. Local says this is the first time since around the election a scrum has gotten an excuse to show up like this in Denver. A scrum? Hmm. All right, well, police called out. Yeah, they stopped traffic. Um, fights. I will link below to this and you can watch the videos, you know, for the last couple of seconds. I, 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 yeah, look, yeah, immature little kids wearing their black garb and their skinny, skinny black jeans. What are they called? The soy boys? All right, so Lauren Bobart, who is a representative in Congress, um, Colorado rep, well, she had a message for them, get a job. Get a job. Man, I'm so sick of this. They're, you know, they need, they need mommy. They need, well, actually somebody, somebody wrote it right down here about how they need they need good parenting. They need mommy to discipline them. You know? Antifa chants, the police are Bobart's B-boys. Yeah, holding up traffic. <laughs> Entitled kitties. Incredibly immature. I, I'm not sure, but I, I think what I hear is something like uh, pee on the floor. Pee on the floor! USA, 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 M MSNBC called them heroic. <laughs> wow, man. Wow, wow. What do you say? I mean, look. <laughs> they need they need adult supervision.
for my family? I'm sorry. You know, all of these kids need a mother just like this mother. It was the one moment from the chaos in Baltimore that had people cheering for more. Mother of the year. <laughs> I leaped out of my yes. chair and said, yes. I was captivated. Captivated by a Baltimore mother reading the riot act to her 16-year-old son. <laughs> <laughs> to remove him from the riot. We now know her name is Toya Graham, and she's a single mom of five girls and a boy. Here's what she told CBS News about her brand of tough love. That's my only son, and at the end of the day, I don't want him to be a Freddie Gray. The Baltimore man whose death in police custody sparked protests. Her tough discipline won muttered admiration and outright applause. Of a mother desperately trying to keep her son from joining the rioters. And you know she was, she saw. Yeah! She quickly started to trend on Twitter, hashtag Baltimore mom. She went to pick up her son at the mall because she heard trouble was brewing there. And he said, Ma, he said, when I seen you, my instinct was to run. You know, I'm a no-tolerant mother. He knew he was in trouble. The video was shared and analyzed from the right. Like, look, at, right there is the moment that I think just gripped my heart. And the left. Here's a kid that'll take a break and throw at a cop, but ducks when his mother comes and slap him. Is he the perfect boy? No, he's not. But he's mine. Send in the moms, read one headline. Maybe you really are the mother of all moms when you can inspire this kind of look in your tough guy son. Genie most. 2015, the left and the right united. Wow, mainstream media, they unite. And they actually even call what he was about to involve himself in was a riot, not a peaceful protest. And then you hear from, oh man, the race scammer. What the hell? What is that guy's name? Oh, yeah. Apparently a leader for the black community. Give me a friggin' break. This guy. Ugh. God. Okay. Yeah. And in New York City decades ago, Tawana Brawley. Anybody remember that? The hoax that he set up? And he's still at it. Wow, man. When there's an agenda, these people never go down. They never go down. Yeah. A black girl in New York City. It was a complete hoax. Claiming that these white boys had thrown her into a garbage can. Ah, I, don't, I can't remember the details. This guy... Well, he was like the orchestrator of it. He's still around. You can lie. You can scam. You can set up a hoax that upsets an entire city. And you can still make a shitload of money. Isn't it great, this country? What did he say? What did he say? She stopped him from throwing a brick at a cop. Now we're defund the police, you know, get rid of the police. Holy shit, this country is so wow. It's just a wow, man. It's like a scene out of a mental institution. Exactly right. Scene out of a mental institution. Some people really need some parenting. Yep, get that mother. Get that mother. Oh. We need her. Let's uh, start a GoFundMe so that we have money to fly her around the country and send the kitties home. You know, it's, it's really serious what's going on because everything is about the left after the right. Happy Juneteenth.
Joy Ann Reed, but only to those who believe everyone, black, white, brown, uh, Asian, or indigenous has the right to vote, and that the results of an election should be respected. The rest of y'all should just consider today Saturday looking at you, GOP. Whoa. Okay. Vanity Fair, the right-wing meltdown over critical race theory is spiraling out of control. Oh, there's a lot of left Democrat parents who want critical race theory out of their schools. But no, it's the right wing. It's the right wing. You see what's happening? Take it seriously, guys. Take it seriously. Because, man, woof. Things are just heating up. War on parents like me. Asra Nomani. Well, completely and utterly biased. Lies spewed. And people believe this, you know? They believe it. That's the problem. That's the problem. Well, yeah, keep worshiping the low lives. I mean, look, this is not a black or white thing. I'm offended by this. This is so sick and twisted. So, you know, And it's such an insult to what, what we hear uh, referred to as the black community, as if there's only one, you know, community, like it's homogenous, this community. It's not. It's not just one black community. And they're all, you know, singing the same tune. Not at all. But my God. It's, it's, what's going on in this country right now, every American should just be so flippin' ashamed that this, this, this is tax dollars. This is your tax dollars, you guys in New Jersey. Bronze statue of a drug addict and criminal. Wow. It certainly symbolizes that we live in a very violent psychiatric institute, institution, you know, the locked ward, 